actually teach students that failure is critical in order to reach to success. That failure is nothing aside from just making mistakes and having a reflection of oneself. Mm. Yeah, in our school, it's not just me. I mean, we we have staff professional development and where our whole colleagues, the, all the teaching staff, even the admin staff, when we get together and talk, we talk about these values. So I hope that every teachers and every, uh, you know, even admin staff impart those same values. We believe, we encourage the celebration of taking actions because mistake is a sign of taking action. No mistake is a sign of inaction. So. It's not just myself. I think, you know, I believe very strongly. I mean, we have great staff here. Everybody take that chance because only when we make mistakes, it's a sign that we are progressing forward. As you said earlier, Mr. Powell, it's not just in certain times of the day or certain lessons of the week that this happens. It's actually cleverly infused in the curriculum delivery every period of every day. And just to show an example um, and to form a picture of uh, what you mentioned earlier with the right to action and now we're talking about um, people taking leaps and bounds and not afraid to fail and fall and work through them to get to a better ground. There's this uh, competition that's run here called uh, Master the Stage, the Right Action, which is a way that uh, takes the morality of right action into a creative and performing arts context together. And through expression in an artistic and creative sense, students actually explore moral um, understandings and, uh, and, and realizations within the self, whilst at the same time, developing their confidence, their creativity, their imagination, um, and so on. So we've got a uh, small video to show the audience about a snapshot of a summary of how this competition was run last year called Master the Stage, the Right Action. Would you agree that if I asked you to light up a candle, if I asked you to go up and light a candle or two for other people, can you light up their candle? if you don't have a light yourself. Thank you for coming to Pal Buddha School today to support our student. Kappa Night is a tradition as you saw at the beginning. Kappa Night is a training ground for our student. One of quite a few training grounds that we use to actually allow the students a, a, a training ground to test and verify with their own personal experiences to see whether you, the user manual put forward by the Buddha actually works. So what exactly are they testing through Kappa, you may ask? What exactly are they ver verifying? Well, let me say this to you. On the, on a, in our school motto, Wisdom, morality, and diligence. Morality is, according to the fully enlightened being, has three factors. The right speech, a speech that will not hurt the, the, the speaker, and a speech that will not hurt the listeners. Right action, in the same manner, do not hurt the speaker, do not hurt the audience, and right livelihood. Right livelihood is simple. A livelihood is a reflection of a person thinking. And then diligence. Well, diligence is simple. It's right effort, right mindfulness, and right focus, concentration. A platform like Kappa allow our students to test all these. Can you imagine the diligence they need to put through in order for them to actually stand up here to perform? And they're standing up here, some may shake, some may make errors because they are nervous. A 
but those errors and those mistakes are priceless. They have to check their speech. They have to check their actions. They have been practicing diligently, putting their effort and mindfulness to make sure that they perfect their art. What motivates these people? What motivates the students? Well, selfless joy is one common key factor of all humanity. When they stand up here and perform for you, they have that, that loving kindness and that selfless joy to, to know that their performance, their creative performance, impact you in a nice, positive way. So thank you very much to all the parents, uh, students, and, uh, and all the benefactors and all our board of directors. And also thank you to the new guests who have taken the plunge to come and witness our school. And most importantly, thank you to all the teachers who have spent a lot of time and put a lot of effort to try and give the students this opportunity to show their life. factors mind and heart should be lit up tonight after you leave I invite you all to light up that fire inside you please give another round of applause to all our performers and non-performers today that video there really is one of many ways, but stands as testament to how, when Mr. Powell talks about teaching students holistically in wisdom, morality, and diligence, how it doesn't sit on its own as a separate thing here at the school. It actually is infused with the curriculum. Um, and it is not a, just about the technology or the competitions alone. It is about, as Mr. Powell would always say, it is about the people. It takes the teachers who are trained and have the same alignment to nurture the same values and the love to do the same in the students. It takes a community of parents who are looking to develop those same values in their children as well. And it takes a network of benefactors and supporters and volunteers who are also wanting to support that same vision of what wholesome future leaders should look like.